Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot reading for this sign of Leo for the month of April 2019. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have a $50 YouTube subscriber special that includes a video link of the entire reading. Enjoy the video. Namaste. You open this reading with the Empress, creating abundance. The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled in regards to a love relationship. There has been some sort of a justice, some sort of truth, fairness, cause and effect or law applied to this situation. And with the Sun card, it makes you very, very happy. The Page of Swords says you're formulating a thought pattern and a plan to move forward as somebody's Prince of Cups, a knight, a metaphorical or real knight in shining armor, princess in shining armor, whatever you want to be, but you are formulating a plan as to how you are going to do this. The King of Pentacles comes in and says that you have security, control, power when it comes to this situation. The situation is the Ten of Swords, something that ended in the past, but that you have the desire to regenerate now. King of Swords comes in and says you are about to make an absolute decision about building a future and making a transition into reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past. Despite the conflict, the shady behavior, any kind of betrayal, any kind of, of bad feelings that you guys have with one another. Eight of Swords says that you've checked and checked and checked and checked a bazillion times in your head if this is the right decision for you. You come out of the Eight of Swords knowing that absolutely this is how you want to proceed into your future. The Star card says there's hope, faith, purpose, and renewal despite the burden that it has been to this point. The Princess of Swords comes in and again says that she's the same as the Page of Swords, says that you are formulating a plan. You're formulating a thought pattern about how to execute this situation. The Four of Pentacles comes in and says that this thought pattern that you are producing with the Princess of Swords and the Page of Swords gives you the energy of the Four of Pentacles, control, stability, and security to go forward and regenerate this relationship with the Ten of Swords as witnessed by the Two of Cups, a unified love relationship. The Two of Pentacles comes in and says that this relationship is going to take priority in your life. Eight of Pentacles says that you are going to work on it. You're going to engage and work on this relationship. The Queen of Wands says you're very determined. The Queen of Wands, again, back to back, says that success is eminent. The Three of Wands is preparing. You are preparing to move forward with the Knight of Swords with some action oriented communication. You have manifested this into your life, this love relationship, right? You've manifested this love relationship into your life. You've dealt with your repressed emotions from the Seven of Swords, any kind of conflict, betrayal, shady behavior in general. You're releasing all of that. You've dealt with your repressed emotions, and you are about to start a brand new chapter in your life with the World Card. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.